Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm inside the garage right now. I should probably open it because this echoes pretty bad. Now the whole world can hear me screaming. Today we got a lot of things to do. Tomorrow we have a lot of things to do as well. So I'm gonna catch you guys up with what's been going on. But before I do that, I do have to give a special shout out to all of you who donated, who purchased a decal, all that good stuff to support the channel. So shout out to you guys. I read you guys' comments. I posted yesterday on YouTube saying I don't wanna upload yesterday's video because the video was boring. It was truly boring, guys. I watched the video and I was like, what is this dude doing? He's like all over the place, all kinds of random stuff. He just basically, Grabbed a lot of stuff put together to make some money and that's not how I want to see YouTube I don't want you guys to see that I'm just uploading stuff to make money Obviously it won't hurt, but at the same time I don't want to post garbage content So let's just go ahead and start out with uh, the people who actually supported the bill throughout you know since the last video So I just want to say a huge shout out to Johnny Peck again my boy Johnny Peck Josh Peck his brother No, I'm kidding. I wish uh, <laughs> uh, Thank you for purchasing a decal Louis Stackray shout out to you and John Lamully uh, Lamully I mean, you see, if I was ever a teacher assistant and I have to take role, it would be so bad. Shout out to all you guys. Special shout out to Ivan Romero from, uh, from the GoFundMe. Shout out to you for donating that huge donation. That's amazing. We're getting so much closer. We're a quarter way to pretty much the goal. Once we hit the goal, this baby will be painted. Uh, we'll remove the wrap, we'll paint it. In the meantime, the wrap is actually coming in today. So we're actually gonna be starting to do a lot of stuff in the next couple days. I have the bumper, which I'll show you guys a few clips of right now. This is what I was doing the past couple days. See, I saw the bumper stuff has been getting worked on. Also recently, my boy Johnny picked up a car, so go ahead and look at that real quick. And now that you guys know what I've been doing the past couple days and a few other errands, I went down to the DMV. Um, I pretty much tried my best to not go with CHP, but your boy has to go through CHP. So before we can do that, I got two moving permits. We got to get this windshield fixed. We got a couple other things to do. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. The windshield, I'm waiting off to tomorrow. So again, tomorrow's video and the next couple of these videos are going to be pretty jam-packed. But in the meantime, we gotta fix everything so we can get this car legally on the road. Jonathan told me my reverse tail light is not working, so that's one thing we gotta get fixed. We have to check out the front bulb, see what's going on with that. One of the bulbs are not working, so we gotta replace that front bulb as well. We gotta test out if both side markers work. Even though they're not plugged in yet, I wanna wrap them before I actually plug them in because they are an absolute pain. So let's just plug them in, check if those work. And once we got all those things working, we're just gonna go ahead and plug in the code reader to make sure that the, pretty much all systems are ready. I have no check engine light, and we can drive this thing to smog, it'll pass smog with no issues. But also, I wanna give a huge special shout out to to one of you guys, I put his Instagram name um, up here somewhere. He, he came out of his way to send me wheel spacers. He's like, I noticed that your gaps are pretty bad, and a lot of you guys have been mentioning that it's pretty horrific. So he went out and uh, got, got me 25 millimeter spacers for the rears, so you can see if that will help out with the gap. And that's gonna, it's like honestly so killer. Thank you so much for that because my budget, there's no longer a budget. It's just over now. It's over my budget. It's just been, it's been pretty south from here. So every little thing to make this car look better for Beamer Fest is going to be amazing. So you can show you guys the final product and that's just going to be like the best. So shout out to you. It was a super good dude. I even met his girlfriend. They were super genuine people and they're huge supporters of the channel. So I just want to say special shout out to you guys. All right, guys, actually some new news just came to me. So that means I'm just going to surprise you guys. It was actually going to happen for the rest of this video. There's a lot of things going on. So let's just get to it. We got to start breaking her down. Alright guys, now we got the wheels off on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the wheel spacers now because we're gonna go ahead and put the 25 millimeters in the rear. So when we get these two tires swapped out, we're gonna slap on the rim and hopefully we got some pretty decent fitment in the rear. And as long as the fitment in the rear is pretty good, we can work on the front, you know, as time comes. Hopefully we can get that done before Beamer Fest. All 
right guys, so we got all the rims right here. I'm gonna go ahead and load this into my mom's car and then uh, take it down to the shop. But before we do that, I'm probably gonna do that probably during the end. Let's go ahead and work on a couple more things here. Alright guys, so a package is here today. This package is for this headlight bracket, so this headlight won't move. So you guys are saying you can just fabricate something, I read you guys' comments. The problem is I have to do headlight and brake and they check things like that. If something looks janky or something looks refabricated, it's not OEM, they're going to point it out and they're going to say you failed, you need to put the original bracket on there. So it's the only reason why I bought the original one. It's easy to fabricate it, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Alright, so what we have to remove is the headlight, and after you move the headlight, we have to remove this bracket, and we're probably going to try to line up the headlight perfectly after we replace this bracket right here. Um, hopefully, we're going to test the hood again, see if everything latches on properly. Um, this side is good to go, everything is perfect, so I'm going to have no issues here. But yeah, but this side, if I try to fabricate something, definitely going to get in trouble. So, you know California laws, boys, you got to obey them. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is secured, it is good to go. Let's go ahead and test out the headlights real quick. Hopefully everything works. And then we can move on to the tail lights because that's our next step. But I'm really happy. That was actually a lot easier than I thought to replace the bracket and everything. So hopefully everything just works out. And then the bulbs, um, I ordered in some white halos. So that should be coming in soon and then we can be able to replace those too. Alright guys, everything looks pretty good. So as you guys can see, this one has the white halos already. It's actually really bright. It's actually crazy bright. But yeah, that has the white halos. This one, all the bulbs are working, but it has the yellow halo. So, ordered in the bulbs for that. So yeah, so far the headlights are working perfectly, which is perfect. Everything's lined up, and it's looking really good. So, so far so good. Good progress there, boys. Let's go ahead and test out that side marker. All right, so there we go, guys. This side's working perfectly. Let's go ahead and test out the other side that I, I, I did. This one didn't come with the car. All right, so pretty much that means all the front end headlights are working, tail lights, side markers. So the only issue I'm having right now is with the tail lights. Uh, my friend told me that that inner reverse tail light is shot. So I'm gonna go ahead, record this, play, replay the video for myself, and see if that's truly shot or not. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and throw it in reverse. I mean, so far everything looks to be working. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on hazards. So it looks like everything is working, honestly. Uh, I guess it just is the reverse. We haven't tried that yet, so let me go ahead and try that. Sorry for the wind, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm about to replay the video. All right, so from playing back the video, all the LEDs are working, thank goodness. It's just a little bulb down here. So this one's good. This one's shot, so let's go ahead and replace that one. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the tail light because, uh, what's it called? Uh, the bulb, this reverse bulb is kind of a pain to get to, so I'm just gonna remove the whole tail light, get it off, go get the new bulb, throw it back on, and then install it off. Probably should stop bashing on it before I break it. Before we actually mess with this uh, tail light, let's go ahead and put the trunk together first. Alright guys, as you can see, everything is finished, which looks good. The whole trunk is done. Just go ahead and work on that tail light now. So it looks like this is the bulb right here. I'm just gonna go down to AutoZone and see if I can pick this. Hope I can pick this bulb up separately for like five bucks or something. Alright guys, your boy is back from BMW. Apparently this bulb costs $65. And it's gonna take four days to get here from BMW. And they said you can rush ship it for an extra 12%. So I was like, how much? And they were like 70 something dollars. And I was like, almost 80 bucks for a bulb. A bulb. Like you got me messed up because they said it has to come with the the, the, the the board as well. It's all one piece. I'm like, of course, you have to make it all one piece and then charge me 80 damn dollars for a bulb. 
So that doesn't make any sense. On eBay and Amazon, they're like, you can get the reverse light upgrade where these are a lot brighter on both sides for like 35 bucks. It's not cheap for some stupid bulbs. What are you gonna do? I thought they're gonna be like five bucks or something. It's just a stupid bulb. Anyways, I'm saying bulb a million damn times. So if it means time to throw the tail light back on, I'm just gonna leave this out. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and order that. I guess at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and wait till five o'clock and then we're gonna head over and do the uh, the wheel mount to wheel unmount so we can get the tires all situated and then throw it on the car and see how it looks. Forgot boys, before we actually head out, while we're waiting, I uh, might as well paint these new lug bolts to go to the 25 millimeter spacer. I don't like them chrome, it looks retarded. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint them back. I know it's probably better to sand it off. I don't care, I'm gonna just buy new ones. These are ugly, but for the meantime, let's just paint them. But bro, bro, I finally got the headlight mounted. I got the hood latches mounted. And this is all mounted. So what's the Vista bumper? <laughs> finally, we came back to the old days. <laughs> I mean, everyone's over at the house right now. We're gonna go ahead and slap on the rims. So I didn't actually get the tires unmounted or remounted. I have to do that probably another day. But in the meantime, just throw the rims on this so my mom doesn't freak out seeing you in her car. Just throw the rims on it, got the 25 millimeter spacers. Hopefully it looks pretty good. All right, they're all washing their cars out there. Wow, look at the quality. Super terrible. So they're all washing their cars. I'm actually waiting on a couple things to come in for this car. Um, but for the meantime, I think that'd have to conclude the video. We've got a lot of doing the next couple days. Um, I'm sorry if this video is kind of short, but there's a lot of things coming in. I got some actually some carbon fiber stuff coming out for this car. Again, I'm trying to get this car show ready for Beamer Fest. Even, it's not gonna be perfect. Don't get me wrong. There's people preparing a very long time for Beamer Fest. My car is not gonna be anywhere as crazy. Um, but, you know, at least something presentable. Um, and hopefully it'll make it there, because you know, it is rebuilt. So you never know. But anyways guys, if you guys wanna be featured on the plaque, I'm gonna be making a plaque for this car, check out the GoFundMe link down below. I'm gonna be, we're a quarter way there to hitting the goal to get this paint job done on the car. We're gonna be wrapping the car for like a little bit, maybe for the summer, and then as soon as you hit the goal, I'm gonna be putting a little bit over that, so we can go ahead and start getting a decent paint job on the exterior of the car. We want a nice paint job, we want something presentable, and then we're gonna go after suspension. We got a lot of future plans for this, but smash the like button if you guys wanna see the next video. We got a lot of things to do. We gotta get it ready for Beamer Fest, boys. Without further ado, guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.